Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the most unique and truthfully one of the best floor plan designs of a travel trailer toy hauler that I've ever seen. This is a 2022 Heartland Torque Model T333. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Torque and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at the T3 Torque. I just called it that. I just invented that. That's what it's <laughs> called, the T333. But before I begin, got to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going today? It's going good. We're still here in Danville, Virginia, and uh, we're taking a look at this brand new Torque. We don't get our hands on a lot of toy hauler travel trailers, but um, RV Outlet USA, they're known for their travel trailers. They are I mean, like... They're, they're toy haulers. They love toy both, haulers. Yeah, both fifth wheels and travel trailers. Yep. So. So throughout the next couple weeks, we'll, we will be featuring a lot of toy haulers. We will, yep. Especially this one. Now, I do want to warn everybody, we couldn't figure out how to get the lights on. It's kind of really weird. Yeah. But it's so light on the inside, we don't even need lights. Right. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is T333. The actual tip-tip length of this travel trailer is 38 feet 9 inches. This is huge. The dry weight is 8,677 pounds, and the hitch weight is 1,223 pounds. Well, three quarter ton. Yes, minimum. yes. Do not tow this with a half ton. Just because there's a hitch there doesn't mean you can tow it. Do not That's do right. it. This is a big beast, especially when you load up the toys. Yes. And we forgot to mention, we didn't even mention, the garage in this is huge. Right. Right up front here, nice lippered power tongue jack. Okay, propane tanks go there and your batteries go there. Right up front here, Will, it's a molded fiberglass front cap. Looks absolutely fantastic. It does. You got the LED lights. Also, this is painted. So uh, it's not going to fade in the sun. Right. I mean, well, I mean, they, they, they got every every brand. They up. do. It's crazy. Right. Oh, not only that. So we got the black diamond plate rock guard here. Not only that, the Momentum uh, Travel Trailer won the uh, best um, toy hauler travel trailer. Oh, for did 2022. it? 2022. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course. I mean, it's the mo Momentum. Yeah. But let me tell you something, Well, They're going to give them a run for their this money. Gonna, this is going to give them a run for the money. Okay. A little bit of storage here, slam latch door. This does have the tire link from Lipper. Oh, cool. Really nice battery disconnect. And I tried that. Yeah. Hey, why don't you unhook the jump box real quick? That way we can save on our batteries because it's not working anyway. Coming on down the side here, I love the way the torque looks. Look at like the teal color, teal or blue. Very nice. Right here, we do have the Lippert electric stabilizing jacks right here. You just push that button. And okay. what's really nice is because this is a Heartland, they use Asdell. Yes. Asdell is a green-based material that will never delaminate on oh, you. Oh, and they didn't put the sticker, did they? Oh, they did. It's on the oh, you're right. or our window. Right here, we have our lovely black fold-up mm. steps, which doesn't make any sense to me why they would do this. But we will come back to that later. Okay. Right here, we do got potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Uh, black tank flush, place bracket to watch TV on the outside. Cool. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Mount Rainiers. I love those. You see it? ST235-80R16. Now, check out this Dexter uh, suspension there. So that's going to be similar to the... Well, it's it's pretty standard, but it yeah. has that little thing. Right. It looks like a standard one, but it has that thing. So that's going to be a lot like the Equiflex. Probably, Probably yeah. Probably one piece of rubber, two points. Yeah. Something like that. But they do it a little different, which it's important, especially for toy haulers. Right. Right here, you do have a second door into the RV. Okay. This one leads into the garage. Guys, wait till you see the garage. It is huge. Coming around back. We do have this door right here, which for security reasons, they have them all zip tied up, so we're not gonna look in it. But this is a ramp door that comes down. Uh, right there, you do have your backup camera. And I don't believe this had the patio kit, did it? Uh, I don't know, we can check when we get on the inside. Well guys, you, you just gotta stick around and see. That's we, right. we plan it this way, you gotta see on the inside. <laughs> um, and coming around the back, finishing up. You got this sideways ladder, which we're not gonna use. Right there is your fuel fill up. Okay, this is, 
not for the RV, of course. This is so it has a gas tank so you can fill up your dirt bikes, right. your ATVs when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Like in Danville, Virginia. That's right. <laughs> right here, you do got cable, satellite, 50 amp service. Um, and then finishing up, we do have a very nice city water connection. Uh, nice big, this looks like a 12 gallon DSI right. water heater. That is definitely an oversized water heater, which is nice. Which you need because you're you're out mudding and stuff. That's right. You need to take a shower. Get that mud off of you. And then wrap it up here, Will. Oh, where's the... Do we get the sewer? Oh. 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 That's not very good all the way down there. And then right here's the other side of the storage. Or, Will, what else is this used for? This is generator prepped. Yes. Now, back in the day, when I say that, I mean 2018, 2019. Right. These units were coming with generators. But especially with the shortages, they're not doing yeah. that. They're now all an option. Or maybe they were always optional generator, but they were always coming in with them. Right. Generators are so hard. So I like how you can kind of use it for storage. But again, that's where a generator would go. Cool. Well, well, the outside of this torque looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Check it out. Cool. We'll start up front. Got the bedroom up here. Uh, living area, kitchen, dining area here. Bathroom right here. And then the garage all the way in the back. Yes, sir. We starting back here? Well, we are definitely starting back here, but first let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back. You can relax it. You can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Well, back here, we were wrong. It does have the patio kit. Now, this is not the Four Seasons doors. Right. This is just the railings. But there is a screen slash privacy back there. Very nice, Will. Oh my gosh. What? Are we in a fifth wheel toy know, hauler? Right? Or a travel trailer toy hauler? Well, there's a reason why we said that this unit is definitely not half ton towable. Yeah. Right here, you got the seats that combine to make a bed. Really nice bed. You got another bunk bed right there. Also, these seats, they flip up and you got your dinette right there. Mm -hmm. So you can have a dinette. You got the diamond plate. For the garage area, well, this is a huge garage. It really is. I think it's 13 feet, but Chen, please insert here. Bing! This is how big the garage is for the T333. Well, I think it's 13 feet. I think so, too. It just makes sense. You got the D-rings tied down, the second door. Really, really nice. Um, And then above you, Will, we do got very big storage. Yep. Nice and I can't believe we here. can't figure out how to turn the lights on and off. I know, right? But, I mean, we don't need it. You don't. And when I saw this floor plan, Will, I'm like, we got to do this. Right, exactly. Hop in that bathroom. Okay. It's going to be a tire bathroom because, you know. Well, that, well, that shower stuff. definitely works. The shower definitely passes. I mean, plenty of height. Plenty of width. I'm not crazy about the curtain. You're going to have to shower standing this way. Yep. But it passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. Right there, Will, can you get that open? Yeah. Very nice. Nice little medicine cabinet, a uh, little sink there. Can you get that? Yep. All right, and then we'll stand out here. Okay. All right. It's getting a little heated up here in Danville. It is, it's getting toasty. Uh-oh. Plastic? Womp, womp. Will, give me porcelain or give me death. This is not a prime pooping position. So they gave you death? 
They gave me death. And I don't like it even if it was porcelain. Like, I'm right, that's a here. terrible position. This is, this is a terrible toilet. This is a terrible toilet. But you know what, Will? What? Limited edition t-shirts dropping <laughs> this week, I think. I think it's in this week. Cool. July 1st, guys. Go to MattsRVReviews.com. We got a new website coming out. Um, sign up for the newsletter. You get first access to our limited edition shirts. And guess where all that money goes? To me? To us. Yes, sir. <laughs> to me To me and Big Daddy here. Stop. Come on, support Dad. <laughs> no, it helps support us. So, um, I mean, there's no other way of saying it. <laughs> right. We just thank you guys. Uh, Will, show us the kitchen. Okay. All right, so a little bit tight here. Hey, not... wait. It doesn't support us. It supports Yuna and Tucker. It is the Yuna and Tucker Foundation. And isn't that right? That's right. And Jen, put that picture where you will, you will, Yuna and Tucker, bing, right there. You look like you're in a Better Home and Garden magazine. <laughs> You got a little bit of storage up top here. This is a two-way fridge. Works off of electric or propane. Right. So, I mean, it's really tight here, but the nice thing is, like, you can stand here and open it. Right. Like, if it opened the other way or something, that would be really well, bad. Well, and so. here's the thing, Well, People are going to be like, why are you putting up with that? Guys, this is a toy hauler. Right. Like, you're getting this for the garage. If you do not have toys, you do not, don't even look at this. Year. Right. But it's like the fact that you get like a decent living area uh -huh. and you're still able to like the because price. The whole idea is you're going to be outside riding your dirt bike and your four wheeler. Exactly. Your motorcycle, whatever. The primary objection. Number one thing for a toy hauler is the garage. Yep. They figure everything else later. Yep. If you must have a spacious area or a prime pooping position, then don't look at the toy hauler because it's not what it does. Come on. There, there you go. go. Little microwave by Furion. All right. Greystone range hood. Hood range. Furion stove, three burner stove top with blue lights that are yes. not work right now and oven. Right. A little bit of storage underneath. All right. Got some storage up top here. Yeah, America. Buy a t shirt, man. Dog food ain't cheap. Uh, nice window right there. Yep. Nice little faucet. It's not like a spray faucet, but it works. Big single bowl sink with a plastic insert, solid surface countertops. Oh, yeah. Nice storage there. Yes. Little thing for your sponges and everything. Silverware, all that right there. Spare spare screws. Thank you, spare Jebediah. Screws. Yep. Okay, and then over here, well, we're just kind of doing the whole, the whole thing that's very unique, right? Now, this isn't a sofa. I mean, it is a sofa, but it's not like a real one. This is just a jackknife, okay? Okay. And... What's weird is, this flips up out of the way. Mm -hmm. Do you think it needs to flip up for the slide out to come in? Probably. No. I doubt but it. But I bet actually. you it flips up if you need to get uh -huh. to the bathroom. Okay. That's, I, I actually like that. I like that. that. I like that. Very cool. Yeah. Over here, we got a JBL speaker right here. Okay. All right, right here we do got some of your storage, Sir William. If you can get that other side, sure. And with how tall the ceilings are, I mean, you can get more storage. You can put some like little, uh, some of those old piggy banks up. There. Right, right. Right here is a very nice. Is this Thomas Paine? No, this is the Allure collection, which I'm confident Allure is Thomas Paine. I think though. it is. Yeah. Oh, uh, right here, very nice sofa. You pull this parachute. Bam. And then we're looking directly across at where the TV would be. Um, you mount the bracket there and everything. And then right here, well, look at this. An actual dinette. Right. Very unique. Solid surface, too. Yeah, guys, you don't you don't get this. Like, again, with the layouts and the space of the toy haulers, you just don't get this. So this is really nice that you, you even have it. Right. And again, it's kind of like a funky living area. But again, that's toy hauler life. That's right. And then to finish up, coming on into the master bedroom is this is a king size bed oh it might be this is a king size bed fully walk aroundable mm, that's Dude, pretty cool we got storage here storage here yep generator start stop switch right there which i know is really i do nice. like that nice headboard and everything guys and it's the same on the other side right drawer here uh power so you can put your cell phones there is there storage yep there sure is very nice. Is that it? Yep. There's a cool. window back there. A TV mounts over here. And again, it, it's a little tight. It is, yeah. 
Um, but again, we're, we're, we're doing good. This is toy hauler life. Cool. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now we got to give everybody the MSRP and three things we like, three things we don't like. Well, let's do the MSRP first. Okay. You know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this unit here is $81,540 MSRP. And that is with two AC units. Sale price is $57,950, which is fantastic, that guys. Is. Guys, this RV Outlet USA, they they are notorious for moving these units. Now, yeah. now if you guys are interested, go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that contact tab, okay? That sale price is for this stock number only, which this unit is number 491943, which is already sold. So the next one will be a little bit more, but still, guys, you contact RV outlet through us. We're going to make sure you get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience. That's right. Will. What we like, yeah. what we don't like, what do we do first? What we like? Yes. Okay. Why don't you go first? You know, it's so hot in here, I can barely even think, so I've been bad about thinking about what I like. I can go first. But, okay, if you want to, but I can. Well, it might be hot in here, I might be sweaty, knees weak, mom spaghetti, <laughs> but what I like about here first is just this living. All right, our GoPro overheated. <laughs> Thanks, GoPro. Yeah. Will, you got boob sweat. I know. It's hot. It's hot, y'all. Will, what's like number two? Um, like number two, it's 95 degrees here, by the way. Not bad. Hmm. Uh, like number two is this garage. I mean, this garage is awesome, honestly. Yep. It's huge. And this is like average for a fifth wheel toy yep. hauler, but for a travel trailer toy hauler, it's just insane. Will, that segues into my number three. Okay. Number three, guys, again, yes. this is a travel trailer. And I wanted to do this to air out because <laughs> it's so dang hot. But, Will, those roofs are absolutely insane. Right. Will, try to touch the roof. That is just crazy. Yeah. Um, It is just such a tall roof in here. This feels like a fifth wheel, and it just it's they just knocked it out of the park. Yep. Well, Will, that's three things we love about, or we, yeah, yeah we, love we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Will, believe it or not, I have all three. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so. I think we're on the same page, so it's First fine. one's outside. Dislike number one. Will, where the heck did you see it? Yeah, that sewer dump is in the worst possible spot I've ever seen. Now it's okay, you just hook up your sewer after you get the slide out out, but it's annoying if you get the RV, you get right. the slide out out, and you're like, oh man, I forgot to do the sewer. Yep. And you gotta close it and hook it up or you gotta crawl on the ground. Not a big fan of that. Well, that's a horrible placement. One of the worst ones we've seen in a while. But again, it's a little thing. That's just like number one. Let's take a look at number two. Great. Well, that's just like number one. You said we're on the same page. Then what's this like number two? Definitely these steps. What are those? <laughs> Like I could deal, truthfully I could deal with them on this side because a lot of times you don't want the solid steps in your garage. 100% agreed. But the main steps should be solid steps. And it's just like, well, I just lied. I said I 100% agreed, mm -hmm. but I don't 100% agree because like I agree in the fact like maybe you don't want the solid steps. But it but shouldn't be the black one It should still. definitely be the yeah. aluminum. Yeah. That's number two. And then well, number three, mm -hmm. give me porcelain or give me death. Well, this is absolutely horrible. It's not about the price in this unit. It's not even about the weight. This can this can hold three, 4,000 pounds. Yep. All together, travel trailer, guys. That's an absolute travesty, that toilet placement. And again, make sure you go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Guys, we're doing a limited edition t-shirt drop. Give me porcelain or give me death in Will. Yep. Here's one thing I do know. If you guys want to buy directly from Will or myself at an RV show, there's rules where we can't always help people, but if you're wearing that shirt, we are willing to help you 100% of the For time. Sure. That's gonna be like our little code. Yeah, you know what I'm that's saying? Right. Like, hey man, meet me around back. We'll help you out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we appreciate everybody getting the shirt and we appreciate everybody checking out this video. Guys, we're part of RV Retailer. If you're interested in this unit, go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact tab. We're gonna get you a great price, great service and just the overall best RV buying experience in the industry. That's right. Well, anything you want to say? Of course, guys, this is such an awesome tra uh, travel trailer fifth wheel. Again, it almost feels, oh, I said fifth wheel, because it almost feels like a fifth wheel is what yes. I was trying to say. 
Uh, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so yes, much for watching you. and we'll, we'll see you next time.